Okay, um, I'm going to um, work on a complex component and I'll show you a technique on how to keep it simple while providing a lot of power. Um, so um, let's uh, start and let's start with a 20 pixel inter uh, semi bold uh, title. And what we're essentially going to do is we're going to uh, make the top bar of something like an iOS uh, header. So I'm going to open up Obra icons and I'm going to uh, grab like three icons uh, as examples. So one that I like is this kind of uh, box icon, which we're using as like a placeholder. Another would be like a chevron, which we're using as a back button. And another would be a, a close icon, which we're using for like models. Okay, so let's say that I have these three as like uh, components and I have them somewhere on an artboard called icons. Um, and then I'm creating my component um, and the component essentially has to support a few situations. So we have the title with a back button. We have the title with an X. Uh, we also, um, and this is like a bit of an edge case uh, that I, I, I know it's a bit of an edge case, but one of the apps that I was designing uh, has it. We also have like a, a chevron next to the title. So there's like a variant in the title itself. Um, plus, uh, we also uh, can put like an icon on the right side. So you could, for example, have like a title with any icon on the right side. So you could be, we'd be able to replace this icon. Um, and you can maybe tell that like we have like situation one here, uh, we have situation two, we have situation three. Uh, maybe there could be like a, another situation without uh, this uh, this one, but with the X. So before we know it, we have like so many variations because we also want, for example, to put like the border uh, as optional. So let's uh, also work on that. Um, so how would you make like a complex component like this in a good way? Um, the, the, the way I like to do it is by working with what I call these like mini components. So um, let's say that the title here, we make that a component. So we call that title. And then this um, chevron here, we wrap it inside of another frame and we call this left accessory. And then this uh, one, we also wrap it in a frame and we call it right accessory. So at this point, we have three components. We have a title, we have a left accessory, and we have a right accessory. Um, and the title also contains this uh, optional uh, chevron. So let's uh, look at the different situations. Um, we also have the border as some optionality. So let's just create this base component. Uh, and the base component contains the title here, it contains the border, it contains this left accessory, and it contains this right accessory. So I'm gonna group all of that, I'm gonna create a frame, and I'm going to um, call that um, top bar. I'm gonna give it a white background and I'm gonna uh, make the fill just a little bit more attractive. So it's based on blue. Uh, so I'll make this border a little bit more attractive. And maybe I'll also make my um, colors based on blue. So I'll just use a, a bit more of an attractive color. And for the title, I would use like a bit of a darker color. Okay, so just to make it look good, right? Um, so what we will do is that um, for the title, essentially we have two variants and I'm just gonna create a copy here without uh, the uh, title for now and I'm gonna combine it as variants. Then on the left side, we I have to give this a name so I'll just call this two and one for now. Um, and then on the left side, uh, the kind of variants we have is that the left accessory could also, for example, have like a close button. So let's put the close button here. Let's detach this and attach it again. Or the left accessory could be a custom icon. So let's do the same, create a new component, but we put the um, left accessory here. So I'm gonna make variants of this as well. And I'm also gonna call this just for now, one, two, and three. Um, on the right side, what do we want to do? Uh, we want to be able to change the icons, but optionally, we also want to have two icons there. So I'm gonna detach this, attach it again and I'm gonna put like two boxes next to each other. So I'm gonna double the uh, width here to 48. So we have room for this first icon and the second icon. Okay, so what we're gonna do now uh, in our top bar, so I'm just gonna delete this and I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. I'll give this an outer layout. I have like left accessory here. I have right accessory here. 
I'm also just gonna call this one and two for now. I'll give it proper names later. So you see how we have three uh, components, left accessory, right accessory. Uh, I'm just gonna drag this out so you can read it uh, and title. And if we put them in order, it would be left accessory, title and right accessory. And all of those should be uh, in here. So we have the left accessory, we have the title and we have the right accessory. And for the title, I actually prefer the other variant as a default. And I see that it's not centered. Uh, so I will, uh, first of all, center this text. So now we have a top bar and let's work on the properties. So um, what we want here is to click on the plus and we click on nested instances. So right accessory, title, left accessory. At this point, we're essentially exposing all the props of the, of the children. So the right accessory has property one, two, one. Then it has also property one and also property one. So this seems like a good moment to give this better names, right? So I'm gonna call this type. Uh, this one I call icon, this one I call back, uh, and this one I call uh, close. If we then uh, put them in the right order, it would be back, close, and icon. Uh, here we do the same. Uh, so we have the title um, as a property or type, I would say type. And the first type is default and the second type is with dropdown. And what we can also do is attach this text here to like its own um, text property. So now on the right accessory, we're also gonna put the type and the type would be uh, two icons and one icon. And also very important to change the order here to the visual order. Okay, so we have our top bar here and it's important that we have the right defaults here. Um, and I actually don't want anything in the top bar until I enable it. So let's add a uh, Boolean uh, property to show the left accessory and put it to false. And then here I'll put a Boolean property to show the right accessory and I'll put it to uh, false. So um, here we go. Uh, we have the top bar uh, with just the title as a default. So anytime you drag in your top bar, let's say you're designing an iOS screen and we have the 390 by 844 and you're dragging in your top bar, it just has the title. Um, let's actually make this like nicer, right? 390 by 56 to make it like more accurate. And now I'm seeing my border here and we also wanted to make uh, that an option. So I'm gonna drag that out. I'm gonna give it the constraints. I just did that left and right. And then that should also be uh, this thing that you can toggle on and off. So I'm gonna put show border to uh, true. So as a default, uh, it's, uh, it's true. And then um, I will do a little bit of alignment. So I will vertically align this. I will also vertically align the icon. I will put this uh, 16 pixels from the side from now and the right accessory, I'm gonna put it on the right. And I'm also gonna uh, make sure that it's 16 pixels from, the, from every side. Okay, um, so we have our top bar now. So let's put our top bar in the screen, like as an example. Um, and uh, let's test our component. So we have show left accessory, show right accessory, uh, the right accessory. I don't like that the right accessory is on the right. Uh, so let's change that first. Um, let's see, right, left accessory. So I actually don't know if you can change the, the order of things, maybe by changing the layer order. Um, but uh, yeah, it seems it, seems it, left, title, right. Okay, great. Um, so I like that uh, it starts on the left. I can change it to a uh, title or icon. The title I can change to the one with dropdown or without dropdown. Uh, then here I can overwrite the title with a text property. Here I can have the two icons. But there's still a flaw. If I choose the one icon, I cannot actually change it to another icon. So let's add a bunch of Obra icons just as like uh, a demo, um, just a few ones. And um, those are the ones that you might want uh, to add in your app. Um, so let's see what's going on here. We have the alien and the airplay. Uh, let's drag this in and also make that a component. So let's say I want the alien on the top right. Like what would I do? I think we need to make uh, the box here overridable. So you would click create property instance. You would, for example, call it, I like to call it icon one uh, because eventually if you have multiple icons, it's good to have a reference to your first icon. So let's do the same thing here. Uh, this is icon one. And then the reason you want to tie to icon one is that here on the right, the right one, you want to tie to icon one because it's right aligned. And then the left one, you tie to a new one called icon two. So let's test our component again. Um, and here, let's say that we want the alien on the right side. 
uh, that works, but then the icon two is somehow uh, misaligned. So let's see what's uh, going on here. Like, why is it misaligned? We have the alien and the box. Uh, let's maybe put like another icon first. So the airplay, and let's look at the reason that it's uh, misaligned. Uh, I think it's maybe, I'll just put an auto layout here and see if that works. Nope, um, it didn't work. So maybe the uh, right accessory is not being aligned properly. So let's um, add, like what you can do to debug this kind of stuff is that you basically uh, change the main component to uh, be in the logic that you don't want for now. So the right accessory, we want it to be two icons. We don't like that as a default, but now we can see the problem, right? It's not aligned to the side anymore. So I will change that to 16 pixels. Um, and um, let's see, if I change it to one icon, it changes to here, even though it's right aligned. So uh, then we come to something that is a bit uh, annoying, is that it's better if all your instances have the same uh, width. So if you uh, make this 48 and you align it to the right here, then that means that if you change this component to one icon, then it's gonna stay on the right side. So just be aware that it's better if everything has the same size. Here everything has the same size, here everything has the same size, and then here as well. Uh, because when you override an instance, uh, the size is preserved, basically. So you want to uh, be mindful that you use the same sizes. So now we see that our component works. Let's do a final tweak and let's actually put some spacing in between this. So let's put uh, 16 pixels between everything. This then necessi necessitates that we change this to 64 pixels. So we change the other one to 64 pixels too. Uh, this looks like a bit much, but I'm going to uh, stop here because the main concepts are um, explained. So this is how to use um, accessories to generate a lot of uh, properties. And just to know how many properties, you could use a, a plugin like PropStar to create uh, the property table uh, for this. So if I run PropStar on this plugin, it's taking a while because it's generating all of the possible variants. And if you look at um, three options here, two options here, and then two options here, my math is not so great, but we will uh, have a, a lot of uh, different options. It's even um, even creating a problem with uh, PropStar. So let's see if we can uh, run that again uh, by uh, going in and out of Figma. Right, so these are all the variants that you created, could create with this system. So as you can see, it's a very powerful system where you use nested instances uh, to work with overrides.